elephant. The elephant glide's kind of tricky because your body isn't centered over the top tube of the bike. Don't worry about the ride in yet. We'll get to that in a second. Now your left foot's on the left peg. So what that does is it makes all the weight go down. So you're probably going to keep falling to the left. So to keep from falling to the left, you want to pick up with that left hand and that left arm. You're going to feel a ton of pressure in there. That's okay. The frame has to be off to the side a little bit, so pull the seat away. Center your body over the front tire, and with a little bit of practice, you got it. Here's the whole thing. Now when you're scuffing it, you got to keep your foot straight on the tire. If your foot's straight on the tire, you're going to get a good scuff, so keep it straight. Here's the riding. You're going to take your left foot, put it on that peg first. Then you're going to grab the seat with your right hand, get your leg over the bar, buzz the tire, and spin around. You can use the front brake if you need it. To ride out, just scuff it for a while, and then set it down and get those feet over. This link's pretty cool. You can do a funky chicken and then step over the bar into an elephant glide. Right here, you're doing a funky chicken with your foot on the other side of the frame. Then you step through into the elephant glide. Now when you step through the bar, you're going to grab the front brake and all the weight's going to be on that scuffing foot. 